Hi everyone! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay sa ating ginagawang discussions about statics of rigid bodies. In today's discussion, we shall be having a sample problem on the topic of friction. And here is our problem, guys. Determine the horizontal force P in the figure to start the 400-pound wedge, letter A, moving to the right, letter B, moving to the left, when the angle of friction is 20 degrees at all contact of surfaces. So, discussin muna natin guys itong scenario, ano? <clears throat> so, meron tayo ditong dalawang wedges, meron tayong isang lower wedge whose weight is 400 pounds, inclined, uh, resting on a horizontal plane, and being pushed by a force P. The inclination between the lower block and the upper block is at 15 degrees as indicated here in the figure, while the lower, the upper block has a weight of 2,000 pounds. The inclination, this inclination is inclined with respect to the horizontal equal to 70 degrees. According to the problem, the angle of friction at all contact surfaces is equal to 70 degrees. That means the coefficient of friction <clears throat> at all surfaces in contact shall be equal to tangent of that coefficient of friction. Now let us try to work on this problem by solving first the value P to cause the 400 pounds block to start moving to the right. So we will be, we will be okay, expecting that this block will have an impending motion to the right when pushed by a force P. So let us try to imagine what will happen to the system of block if the lower block tends to move rightwards. And let us show it this way. Let us try to imagine to show what will happen it here by looking at this illustration. So I replaced the block with a figure so that I could make an animation of the illustration or the problem. So this is what will happen on if the block is pushed to the right. So you'll notice that okay, the upper block will slide against the lower block as well as with the inclination so that there will be a relative motion of this upper block against this inclination and a relative motion of this okay, upper block against the lower block while the lower block will tend to move to the right. And so if we're going to consider the upper block as the free body diagram, so let us try to imagine that this is isolated as FBD. The block is subjected to a force of 2,000 pounds representing its weight. We also have the inclination of this uh, plane which is equal to 70 degrees with respect to the horizontal and this one is equal to 15 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Now let us try to imagine the normal force, you know, the inclination, the action of this inclination with respect to this uh, wedge and you will have it as our n sub 1 and because the inclination is making an angle of 70 degrees with respect to the horizontal therefore this n will also be making an angle of 70 degrees with respect to the vertical here is the direction of the motion of the block and therefore the frictional force that would be exerted by this inclined plane shall be opposite the direction of the direction of motion and we shall be calling it as the frictional force f sub 1 and between and n sub 1 and f sub 1 there will be a resultant force and the resultant force shall be making an angle with respect to n sub 1 equal to the angle of friction of 20 degrees and so there will be now the resultant force and we, we shall be representing it as r sub 1 and that r sub 1 will be making an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the uh, the normal force and so r sub 1 will be horizontal because the total angle that r sub 1 will be making with respect to the vertical shall be the sum of 70 and 20 degrees. At this point where okay, the upper block is in contact with the lower block, okay, therefore the lower block will be sub exerting a resultant reaction or a normal force equal to n sub 2. And this n sub 2 will be making an angle of 15 degrees with respect to the vertical as the plane is making 15 degrees also with respect to the horizontal. 
And because this is the direction of the impending motion or the relative motion of the upper block against the lower block. Therefore, okay, the lower block will be exerting a frictional force directed in the opposite direction as the direction of the relative motion. And here is our F sub 2. So that between F sub 2 and N sub 2, there will now be a resultant force R sub 2 whose direction is equal to 20 degrees with respect to the, to the normal force. And the total angle that this R sub 2 is making with respect to the vertical will be the sum of 20 and 35. Now, if we're going to look at this a block, you will notice that this block is now subjected to three forces, the 2,000 pound, pound force, R sub 1, and R sub 2. And therefore, we can solve for R sub 1 and R sub 2 by applying the force triangle method. So that if we're going to draw the force triangle, with this representing our R sub 1, the tip at, at R sub 1 is drawn with our 2000, and at the tip of 2000, we draw the direction of R sub 2. The total angle shall be equal to 35 degrees, while this angle shall be equal to 55 degrees. And if you're going to use the sign law, okay, we're going to use the sign law, therefore, the ratio of R sub 2 to the sign of the opposite angle, which is 90, is proportional to the ratio of R sub 1 to the sign of the opposite angle of 35, and also proportional to 2000, okay, is to the sign of the opposite angle of 55 degrees. And therefore, from here, you can solve for R sub 1 of 1400.415 pounds and R sub 2 equal to 2441.55. Now, after that, what shall we do? So, if we're going to consider now the lower block as FBD. Kanina, in-isolate natin yung upper block. Ngayon, ang i-isolate naman natin ay itong lower block. So, that if we're going to isolate this lower block here, so what shall we do? We shall have the, the block subjected to the following forces. First, we have the weight of the block given to be 400 pounds. Diba? 400 pounds yan. Then, we also have here the normal force exerted by the floor upon the lower block and we call this as N sub 3. So because this is being pushed by P, therefore the tendency of this is to move in this direction. And because okay, of this relative motion, okay, the lower part or this uh, floor will be exerting a frictional force opposite this direction of motion. Ito ngayon ating frictional force and we shall be calling it as F sub 3. And from these two forces, F sub 3 and N sub 3, there will be a resultant force R sub 3 and that R sub 3 shall be making an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the normal force. Now similarly, at this portion, because it is in contact with the upper block, therefore the upper block is exerting the normal force N sub 2, okay, which is making an angle of 15 degrees with respect to the vertical. And there we shall have okay, the direction of the frictional uh, motion. And therefore, the upper block is exerting a frictional force upon the lower block, lower block opposite the direction of the okay, relative motion. And therefore, this will be the direction of the force exerted by okay, the upper block. And from these two, there will be a resultant force R sub 2. And that R sub 2 is already known, which we have already computed at a okay, 2441.55 making an angle of 20 degrees with respect to the normal force so that r is also making a total angle of 35 degrees with respect to the okay, vertical now if we're going to sum up force vertical equal to zero therefore from here we can solve for n sub 3 considering that force directed upward is positive and therefore our equation becomes N sub 3, which is this one, okay, minus 400, which is this one, okay, minus 2441.55 cosine of 35 representing the vertical component of this R sub 2. And all of this must be equal to zero. So that from here, we can compute for N sub 3 to be at 2400. 
And because we have already computed for n sub 3, we can compute now for the frictional force exerted by the floor upon the lower block using the formula that F sub 3 shall be equal to the coefficient of friction multiplied by n sub 3. But since the coefficient of friction is equal to tangent of the angle of friction, therefore we sub when we substitute that, it will be equal to tangent of 20 multiplied by 2400. And then simplifying, F sub 3 shall be equal to 873.53 pounds. This is the force exerted or the frictional force exerted by the floor upon the lower block when the lo lower block tends to move in the rightward direction. Now after that, what shall we do? We cannot compute for P by summing up force horizontal equal to zero and treating that rightward force is equal to positive. And so our equation becomes P Okay, minus 873 representing this force minus the component of R sub 2 in the horizontal direction and that's equal to 2,441.55 times sine of 55 and all of this must be equal to 0. And so when we simplify, we can solve for P and P will be equal to 2,273.95 pounds. And this is the magnitude of P. That is necessary to start the lower block moving in the rightward direction. Now, suppose that we solve for letter B. Moving K to the left. What shall be the magnitude of P that will start the lower block moving in the leftward direction? So let us now try to consider this okay, solution. Solving for the value of P to cause the 400 pound block to start moving to the left. Now basically, let us try to imagine ano, what will happen to the system of block if the lower block okay, tends to move leftwards. And there are two possible conditions ano, to, that, uh, that may happen when we pull okay, the lower block in the leftward direction. The first possible condition is that as the lower block is pulled, the upper block moves with the lower block. So, ganito yung mangyayari kapag inila natin siya using analyzing this as our first condition. Pag inila natin siya, okay, sumama ngayon yung block na nasa taas and that there is now a frictional force developed exerted by the lower, by the floor upon the lower block because this, okay, the two moves as a unit. The other condition is that as the lower block is pulled, then the upper block slides down the block and remains in contact with the inclined plane while sliding. So, pwede rin mangyari na kapag hinila natin ito, ito mananatili nakadikit dito, mag slide dito against the lower block and it will, be, it will remain intact with this one and start uh, moving slowly downward the incline. And this is what will happen using the second condition. I will show you. This is what will happen. Okay, nakita nyo yung nangyari. Ganyan yung mangyayari sa second condition. Pero ang tanong ganito, how do we determine the actual condition of motion? Paano ba natin malalaman yung magiging actual condition of motion? Kinakailangan ba nating solve this yung pareho? Mayroon tayong pwedeng gamitin paraan para malaman natin yung magiging actual condition of motion. And that will be based on the relation between the angle of friction and the angle of inclination between the two blocks. And here is the okay, uh, concept. Sabi dito, the actual motion will be determined by the relationship between the angle of, the fri angle of friction between the two surfaces and the angle of inclination that the plane makes with the horizontal. Doon daw makikita, no? Between this angle of friction and the angle of inclination between the two surfaces. Eh, paano ngayon? Ito yung sagot. If the angle of friction is greater than the angle of inclination, then the upper block will stay on top of the lower block. That means, the two blocks will move together as a unit. Ang sabi daw dyan, kapag ang angle of friction na nakita dito, which is this one, ay mas malaki kesa dun sa angle of inclination. Ang ibig sabihin doon nun, Okay, the two block will move together as a unit because the upper block will remain on top of the lower block. 
Samantalang, kung nabaligtad naman if the angle of friction is lower than the angle of inclination between the two, then the upper block will slide against the lower block as indicated by the second condition of motion. Now, let us try to make an analysis. Ano? Sabi dito, since the angle of friction, ano ba yung angle of friction natin is 20? Diba? Is greater than the angle of inclination. Ano ba ang ating inclination? Ang angle of inclination itong inclination na ito. And this is actually 15 degrees, di ba? And because angle of friction is greater than the angle of inclination between the two, then ano yung ngayon mangyayari? Okay, the condition will be the first condition of motion. Ay, ano yun? Okay, as the lower block is pulled, then the upper block stays on top of the lower block. Mananatili siyang nakadikit sa ibabaw kapag hinila yung lower block. And this is what will happen. Yan yung mangyayari sa actual condition ng flow because the angle of friction is greater than the angle of inclination. Diba? Ayun, sagutin natin. Uh, if you're going to consider FBD of the two blocks together as a unit, then this is the FBD. Then if we try to show the forces acting on the system of blocks, we have the weight of the upper block, which is 2,000, the weight of the lower block, which is 400, and the normal force, N sub 3, plus the force exerted to pull okay, the lower block in the leftward direction. Now, how are we going to uh, determine the other force? Because this is the direction of the motion, but direction of the impending motion. Therefore, there will be a frictional force that will be developed here. And the direction is opposite the direction of the impending motion. And we shall be calling it as F sub 3. Now, if we're going to consider summing a force vertical equal to zero, we can solve for N sub 3. If we are going to treat that direction upward is positive, therefore our force summation becomes 3, uh, N sub 3 minus 2000 minus 400 representing the weights of the two uh, wedges or blocks shall be equal to zero and therefore N sub 3 shall be equal to 2400. So that we are going to determine F sub 3 using the formula. F sub 3 will be equal to F multiplied by N sub 3, substituting the value of F, which is equal to tangent of 20, multiplied by 2,400. F sub 3, therefore, is equal to 873.53. So that, we're going to solve for P, okay, as this will be the magnitude of the force necessary to cause okay, this lower block to, be, to start moving in the leftward direction, then we solve it by summing up forces horizontal equal to zero, and therefore, P therefore will be equal to 873.53. Uh, and so, guys, yan yung ating uh, naging solution sa sample problem na pinakita ko sa inyo. At sana sa pamagitan ng sample problem na ito, ay lalo ninyong naiintindihan yung ating topic about friction. Kaya kung hindi, kapa, hindi pa kayo nakapagsusubscribe sa ating channel, samantalahin nyo yung pagkakataon na you subscribe to my channel so that you will be informed of my future uploads. Once again, thank you very much for watching.